All right, all right, this should be a very simple video. I'm just going to show you how to do a very quick effect in Adobe Premiere. Uh, you could do this in After Effects, um, and you can do this in Premiere, but uh, I'm going to use Illustrator as well, but no After Effects, because I just want to do it all in Premiere. So you can do it all in Premiere, most of it. Uh, let me just go ahead and demo the effect, because I hate when people don't show me what's going on before. Uh, I'm going to be quiet so you can hear the... I'll put a little sound effect in there. It sounds a little weird. I don't, I don't know if that works. But anyway, one more time. Yeah, yeah. you just you know, kind of like what someone would do with a, a pen. Uh, that could be yellow. I don't say that could be any color you wanted. I just picked red. stands out a little better. But yeah, red pen, circle the date. It's just sort of, yeah, circle the date. That's, I guess I'll call that the effect, circle the date. So if I got a calendar in here, and I already imported one. I uh, got it off Pixabay. Great site. I highly recommend it. Um, I can just go over and to the lower left, get the Eclipse tool. Um, draw a little circle. It looks like it's already set up for what I did earlier. Um, move it right there. And yeah, I'm going to circle that date. Um, there's the shape. And if I go inside, I got uh, no fill. I got rid of the fill. And a stroke with about 33. I don't know why it's overlapping there. Not enough room, I guess. Um, and that's it. So that's the effect. I could do that. But now there's no, uh, you know, kind of you know, circling effect. That's what, that's what we want here. We don't want, I could fade it in, but that's, that's not what I want. So. I'm going to go uh, to the very beginning here, and I'm going to uh, go and look for radio, which I already got it there, but I'll type it one more time. I don't know we need to do that. Radio wipe right there. Double click it. It's now in there, and I go up there, and now the transition to zero, but 100 is it's sort of opposite is what you think, but it's wiping away, so I guess that makes sense. Um, if I move to zero, or 100%, there I go, and I just click it to remember it, go forward in time a little bit, and then um, move it back down to zero. It'll put a keyframe. I like to right click and do ease in. And let's just go and play it. There we go. We could be done. And I don't know how much time it was, but uh, I think that's a pretty quick video. However, I did want to show how to do that earlier effect where it's got, uh, I don't know, you know, that little like, like a pen did it, you know. Now you really can't get that with Premiere directly, at least now with a very quick and easy approach. Um, if you got Illustrator, uh, you don't have to. You can actually go out and maybe get some clip art or find a place that does it or a painting program. You know, there are a lot of programs that do it. I have Illustrator, so let's use that. There is the effect. I like to show it ahead of time. And I don't know, it's just, you know, kind of looks like a felt, felt pen wrote it. You could do it with other, other tools, but that's what I used. So let's go ahead and start from scratch. Control N for new. And uh, you can't fit the box in there. There it goes. Okay. Now, you could try to draw it. I'm not very good with the mouse drawing circles, so I would spend all day and I would never get it. It just, it looks like a mouse drew it. It doesn't look like a, a hand drew it. Uh, if you've got a tablet, that's great. Control A, delete. I don't want all that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and make a little oval here. It's almost too perfect. You could kind of screw it up a little with the, um, messing with the Bezier curves. But I got my artistic paintbrush. You got calligraphy pens. You got paintbrush pens. These are the default ones. I'll just go ahead and double click on one, and there I go. That's kind of my pen. Let's see, which one do I like? I like that one. I like a nice thick pen. Okay, so that's fine. Um, one thing to be aware of when you draw is uh, sometimes the, the, uh, it's filled. It's not filled right now, but when you start off from scratch with the circle, you might have it filled, so just make sure it's not filled. Exit out, um, and you'll discover pretty fast if you didn't. Uh, let's go ahead and go with some nice red. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, there it is. Um, I could be done and that would work. However, I don't know. It kinda, it's like, like I said, it's too perfect. Let's go ahead and grab the scissors tool. Um, I'm gonna go down to my path, maybe right about there. I just, I clicked with my scissors. Oh, I get my other pen. And now I'm gonna try and move this thing. It's probably gonna take me five tries because I'm gonna grab the wrong parts of it. But uh, I think that's, nope. That's the part. Where's the little, thing? Uh, eh, actually that'll work. Go down here, move that around. Uh, maybe I'll move my other one a little. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. All right, and I'm gonna move it around a little. I just want it to look natural, like a nice flowing pen, even though I'm not liking some of that there. Yeah, you could spend all day with that. That's your cursor. They can be tough sometimes, but that, that's okay. So my pen just kind of started there lightly and went around, or maybe it started there lightly and went around. Um, yeah, okay. There we go. I'm going to do a Control-S, and I'm going to do swish. 
I called it Switch last time. Let's call it Switch 3. Um, and let's go back over to, um, oh yeah, don't uncheck that or you're really not going to be able to use it. I don't even know why they have that as an option because you can't seem to use the files if you do that. So leave that checked. And now we're done with uh, Adobe Illustrator. Let's go back to Premiere. Okay, brought in my new Switch and I see it there. I'm just going to go ahead and drag it to the same place as my uh, other Switch. And I am going to scale it up a little bit. I'm going to move it up a little bit. And there you go. Now I got two switches. Now I could, uh, could go ahead and do that radial thing, but you know, I did it before. Why not just go over here, control C, um, go back to my new one, control V, don't even have to click in it. It'll automatically know what I'm talking about. I don't get rid of the old graphic and there we go. But I think you can see a problem there. At least I do is that we're starting the radio wipe at zero degrees, which makes sense for a starting point, but we don't want it there. So let's go into our radio filter uh, or effect and starting angle zero. Let's just kind of move that around. Actually, I should just do it the first frame, otherwise it's not gonna make any sense. There we go. Um, maybe one more frame over. There we go, okay. Starting uh, angle and yeah, just get it right out so it's not showing the other one and there you go, so swoosh. I kind of like that, if I had a pen, I think that's what I would be doing. And there you go, it's that easy. Uh, yeah, now, you know, if you're seeing this and think, well, what about this effect? Well, that was just with that basic 3D filter, you've probably seen that or maybe worked with that, that's not in this video, but basic 3D, double click, gets in there, and then, you know, at this point, you could, uh, well, actually, it's, put it into this one. I don't want it in that one. I actually want it in that one, but that's okay. I'm not going to go over that kind of stuff right now, but you see how to do the effect. So yeah, I was circling the day of the week with my cat, little pen to remind me that the seventh, I got to take out the trash. I don't know, but I uh, hope that helps because uh, I had trouble finding exactly the effect I wanted and this is it. So I'm sharing it with everybody else. Uh, leave a like if you liked it.